Well, so many people have that special car that they've never forgotten, even a long time after it's gone. Well, a father and son from Jupiter Farms thought they would never see their beloved Vincent Camaro again. But as our Caleb Califano reports, a stroke of luck brought them together. For Nathan Misulin and his father, cars are a passion. They become part of the family. Um, it's almost, it sounds silly to some, but it's the car becomes part of the family. So for them, this 1969 Camaro was considered a long lost family member, finally returning home. And you hear those stories all the time, and this really is one in a million. To start the story, we need to go back to the early 1980s when Nathan's father, Bob, first bought the car. Over the next 10 years, Bob and Nathan took the car to shows across Florida winning awards. Come 1993, Bob has to sell the Camaro, and for three decades, that's the last time they would see it until last month. Back in November, I was watching some videos on Facebook on my Camaro page, and I noticed um, a video that looked like the car, and I messaged a guy. He says, oh, I hear that all the time. I don't think it's the car. And I said, well, can you check this or that? You know, can you verify if it's the car? And he said, yeah. That's your dad's car. Sure enough, on the other side of the country in Washington state, Bob and Nathan's award winning Camaro was finally found again. In the same condition, paint job and all, Bob left it 30 years ago. Could have been wrecked or, you know, anything could have happened to it. But when he found it, it was hard to believe that it was still in the condition it's in. So Nathan bought it back, marking the journey of getting it back to South Florida. After help from the previous owner, the Miskillen's dream muscle car was headed home for one final surprise, an early arrival on Christmas for Bob. It felt really, really good to bring it back, you know, and I wanted to bring the car back. My dad had made so many great sacrifices for us as children growing up. The only thing I could think, the best thing I could do would be to pay him back for some stuff that he's done for us. So now the 1969 Camaro is back home where it belongs after a decades long cross country trip. And if you ask Bob, it isn't going anywhere anytime soon. It's not going anywhere between me and him. The car's locked up with the family. <laughs> it's just going to stay here forever. <laughs> In Jupiter Farms, Caleb Calfano, WPBF 25 News.